Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. Here at Moderna, we are really pleased that you could be joining us where we will be speaking to you about what's new in Revit Mechanical 2021. My name is Michael Bredenkamp and I'm the Strategic Accounts Manager for Moderna Infrastructure in the construction and MEP space and I will be co-hosting your session today. During this week, we'll be hosting a total of 10 webinars where we will be showcasing some of the new features available in the 2021 release version. If you haven't already registered for any of these other webinars this week, a link will be added to the comments box where you will be able to register. This webinar will be recorded. It will also be sent to you in the next day or so to recap on what we've covered today. And if you would like to share it with any of your colleagues who weren't able to attend, please feel free to do so. You will also be able to go to our website where all the recordings will be hosted. If you have any questions during the webinar, please post your questions in the comment or chat box and one of our technical assistants will be able to assist and answer your questions. And for those of you who are just joining us, welcome. Now I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Dino. Dino is one of Moderna Infrastructure's application engineers who specialized skills are in mechanical and wet services engineering. His product skill set includes Revit, AutoCAD, Navisworks, and BIM 360. His industry belief is knowledge and application of knowledge, which equals success. Now, before we get started with the presentation, we would love to hear your feedback at the end of the session. So if you could please complete a quick survey for us to provide us with some valuable feedback. We'll select five lucky participants at random from each webinar to receive a free course on our training platform. So without any delays, let's get started. Perfect. So what's new in Revit MEP Mechanical 2021? So just a quick introduction from my side. Moderna is a South African leading design technology consulting firm within the AEC industry. We are a trusted partner in solving real world problems with a most advanced design technological solutions, innovations and deep industry knowledge. Just so you guys can put a face to who you are going to deal with, our director, Katie McKnight, uh, the person who did all the introductions, thank you, Michael, Brian Kamp, and then myself, the infrastructure applications engineer, Dino Karpich. Let us begin. Let's talk about the platform for Revit 2021 that everybody gets to see in terms of features and updates. So if you're looking at the first item, PDF and image links, what has changed? Well, we have the ability to link PDFs and images from a local or cloud file location. So this is great news for all of those who are using the BIM 360 uh, design or docs web interface. So simply upload your PDF and link it from the cloud, from Revit. Next, we can select multiple row, rows to reload or remove a link, meaning we don't have to go through the tedious workflow of selecting one link and removing, then selecting the next and doing so forth. Now select multiple and just remove. Finally, convert links to import as needed. Yes, this was a feature introduced into AutoCAD that has now come through into Revit. So you have the ability to convert uh, PDFs into a uh, drawing within the Revit environment. And then of course, use the show button to find PDF or image in the project. Now, this goes without saying, this is probably one of the best features, uh, mainly because it was a tiresome job looking for a specific link, PDF, image, whatever the case was under your manage links tab. Now you just have to simply select the link and show the link to see where it is in your project. The next feature we've got is the cloud model hosting in Europe. Keep in mind that we can store Revit cloud models now on a European data center and not just the, e, uh, not just the US. We also have a location determined by location of BIM 360 accounts. Next, we have an improved BIM 360 project navigation in the Revit home. We have a better experience of BIM 360 account and project navigation. One, we can see the differences between recent files and cloud hosted models. We have the ability to search for long lists of projects, direct access to the files saved in BIM 360 with the go to BIM 360 button option, as you can see on the image there. And then finally, easily access the help links to help you even further when, it, uh, when needed. 
when we carry on with the platform, we have the ability now to customize Revit workspaces. Yes. So we can provide a personalized experience for the way you work based on your discipline and primary job role. So propose a customized UI interface that hides unnecessary ribbons that you are no longer working for. So for those of you in the MEP field, we can choose mechanical, electrical, and piping, and we can switch off structure, interface, and construction. And we don't have to worry about those tools in our interface. And finally, you can then accept and decline the result, and your customized UI is saved. So you can start working with it, or you can restore it back to its original default settings. When it comes to schedules, yes, we have the ability now to do row stripping. So make it easier to follow rows across a large schedule. How? Well, in the schedules properties, we have the ability to go into appearance, select the striped rows, activate it, and then choose a color for the row stripping. And then finally, easily scan information on both schedules and views on the sheet. How much easier is that on the eyes, guys? It is unbelievable. We needed this one, definitely. When it comes again to platforms, we have the ability to enable filters in a view. So new column enable in a view added to the filters tab of the visibility graphics dialog box. What does that look like? Well, it is simply one more column that says enable filters. What does this do? Well, we can quickly disable a view filter without having to remove the filter from the view. And finally, continue to view the element that fit the criteria of the filter. And don't forget, enabled by default when a new view filter is applied, to that view. In Revit 2021, we have the ability now to also rotate tags with the components. So ability to control tags and rotation behaviors. We can edit the tags in the family editor. And of course, we can enable rotation with the component parameter in the properties palette. And then, of course, tag rotation matches the new component orientation. Please keep in mind that you have to make sure that the ability is activated within the family editor, don't forget. Finally, we have the ability now to do voids and cut family geometry types. So voids can now be associated to a family type. Customers no longer need to create two families to achieve what can be done in one, and voids can be controlled to cut some family types out, but not others. So please be careful when you are trying to cut. And then other features, we have other additional improvements such as consistent line style naming. Yes, hard-coded Revit line styles are now consistently bracketed and appear at the bottom of the list in your line styles. We have the ability now to get live Autodesk content. So yes, select the Autodesk content and go download from the Autodesk website. And of course, sun and shadow refinement are not just to improve accuracy of shadows in a polar location, for architects, however, uh, but also for sunrise and sunset times now update the part within a project location, meaning our heating and cooling load schedules become a lot better down the line. So those were just the overall features that everybody can use within Revit 2021. You guys are here for something very specific, and that is the mechanical feature. So let us go through that. MEP Mechanical, we have the ability to do MEP work sharing enhancements. So only directed modified elements are borrowed, elements borrowed upon opening uh, files are resolved, and finally, circular syncing requests resolved. How does this look? Well, in the past, when you selected or checked out an item, it would then affect everything else that the item was connected to. However, now, when you check out an item, that is the only item that you are able to modify. And this can be further explained in a video. So hold on for one second. Take a look at this video by Brandon White of Autodesk. Revit 2021 offers improved work sharing functionality for MEP elements. In previous releases of Revit, when an MEP element was borrowed by a user due to a modification, indirectly modified elements connected to that element are also borrowed by that user. In Revit 2021, only the original modified element is borrowed. 
Auto healing functionality for inline elements has also been disabled to ensure consistent and predictable results when multiple users collaborate on work shared models. These enhancements to work sharing enable you to more effectively collaborate on your Revit projects. So that was for our MEP work sharing enhancements. Next, the other item I want to bring up is the PMID modeler on Bin360 Docs. So this has been a feature that was introduced with previous versions of Revit starting from 2018. However, it has become a lot better. So the PMID modeler is now available on Bin360 Docs and not just Teams because Teams is being phased out. So when you open a project on Bin360 Docs, you are then able to collaborate it into Revit. Keep in mind that this is a PNID diagram. Sorry, the PNID diagram is also available now in Revit from Plant 3D itself. And it has a color code to ensure the correct usage and positioning. So when you are transferring data from Plant 3D to Revit, you have the correct way of doing so. So how does that look? I'd like to go, I'll show you guys another video. So. Another thing that comes out of the MEP mechanical is the MEP fabrication extension integration. So MEP fabrication exports now located under the file tab. So yes, you can go file export as MEP fabrication job. You can also import MEP fabrication jobs on the insert tab. So when you go to insert, you can say import MEP fabrication job. And finally export job files from a contextual ribbon and that is available there under your MEP fabrication. Keep in mind that the idea of exporting and importing these jobs is for you to collaborate and work better with those out on your uh, assembly or those using the software itself. So fabrication capabilities are now integrated into Revit MEP 2021. Finally, the nicest uh, thing to come out for Revit MEP 2021 Mechanical is the ability to have a more advanced system analysis. So we have an MEP system analysis that starts when we create an analytical geometry from the model itself. Validate your model and review the analysis. Then create custom analyzed workflows which allow our HVAC systems to have a sketch tool for the spaces. And then of course, extend the zone equipment and the plant loop. So how does this look? I'm gonna try and share this video now with you guys. Hopefully it works. And this is another one this from Autodesk. This is called MEP Systems Analysis Features and Framework. And lets you achieve significantly more integrated HVAC systems design analysis and modeling. The systems analysis feature in Revit, which extends on the capabilities of Autodesk Insight that leverages location and climate data to form whole building performance analysis, addresses this challenge by giving HVAC designers the ability to use architectural models in Revit at any level of completeness. With systems analysis, designers can quickly sketch their layouts, define zones, and even attach preliminary equipment that can be further refined as more detail is added. And once systems and the zones they serve are defined, analytical models can be generated. Designers can then use Revit views and schedules to validate that their systems are properly defined and connected before the analysis begins, and also explore their analytical systems in the system browser. Powered by Energy Plus, the system analysis tool comes with two default analysis routines one for annual building performance, and one for calculating loads and sizing. But custom routines can be created as well. And when the analysis is completed, designers can explore their reports in graphical and tabular form. With Revit Systems Analysis, enjoy integrated HVAC analysis and modeling, better building design and performance. And there you have it for Revit MEP 2021 Mechanical. Don't forget that we have more news from Modern AC as well. So during the course of this week, we have our What's New webinar series. So if you want to see what's new in the other disciplines, 
you can log on to our website and go see from an arraignment of what new features. Keep in mind, for those of you in the MEP sphere, if you want to see anything on what's new electrical, that will be happening on Wednesday the 27th at 12 o'clock. Our what's new piping will happen on Thursday the 28th at 12 o'clock. But what I want to point out is something very new and very awesome in Revit 2021, and that's generative design. So we have a generative design webinar that is happening on the 29th at 2 p.m. Keep in mind that we also have a competition, so stand a chance to win one of five coupons to a Moderna online course. Complete the feedback form that will be sent to you after this webinar and by email. And of course, don't forget that the BIM 360 design extended trial is still, still going on. So let a modern assistant help you with the setup of your BIM 360 design hub to ensure your continuous work within this lockdown environment. So you are able to work easier and more remotely with Revit. Uh, Michael, I'm sure I'm missing anything else. Do you have anything? No, Dina, that's absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much. Uh, I think it's a great session. There's certainly some interesting new functionality that's been added, and I'm sure that everyone agrees. Um, we still have uh, a few minutes, obviously, left, Dina, and I uh, can see there's been a few questions already asked. Um, the first question um, is actually coming from Matthew. He says, uh, can you save backwards, let's say 2019, so it can be shared with others using older versions? Uh, so the simplest answer is no, unfortunately not. Okay. Um, another question that we have, Dino. Um, what would you say is your favorite new feature? Uh, my favorite new feature is the ability to actually find a link now without having this tedious workflow of searching it for myself. So it was something I was hoping for. So I can now remove and audit uh, Revit files a lot quicker now with that feature. Okay, fantastic. Another question posted is, uh, Dino, MEP fabrication extension integration. Looks like a great new feature. How do you see this benefiting the industry? Well, for those who are looking for the benefits, the integration for the model is to allow other users from CAMDUCT, Estimate, MEP uh, work on your Revit model itself, update the fabrication component, and give it back to you. That way you can relink it into your Revit project to see necessary changes and adjustments that you need to do from your side. Right. That's interesting. Thank you. Um, if there's any more questions, guys, please, will you post them in the chat box, the Q&A? Um, we're just going to give it a few more minutes. We have a little bit of time still left on our side. So let's just get the rest of the questions going, please. All right. I don't think there's any other questions there. No. Okay, well then, for everyone who's obviously joined us, Dina, I think we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for their time. And uh, I'm quite sure that they're going to be using some of the new features pretty soon. Um, I'm also not sure if everybody who's listening is aware that Modern Design Centers actually has a YouTube channel. I will be sharing a link with everybody in the comments box shortly. So please check it out. There's a lot of new material that we've actually added on here. And... Uh, other benefits, if everyone's not aware of, Moderna is running its online classroom training. And uh, just click on the links that we're going to be posting shortly for everybody to go and have a look-see. Before we obviously close off the session, um, I'd just like to ask everybody to please complete the survey for us. Um, it'll help us get some great valuable feedback. As you're aware, there are five lucky participants who are going to be chosen randomly to receive a free course on our training platform. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to get in contact with uh, one of your relevant account managers or just give us a call on one of us with one of our specialists who will actually be able to help and assist you. We thank you for your time. We really appreciate it for joining us today. We hope everybody is safe and uh, have a fantastic day further. All right, perfect. Thank you guys so much again. Ciao.